Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. What's up? We are still in quarantine, lol, but yeah. Anyways, today I am bringing back the collection series. This actually might be the final episode because I don't have that many collections, believe it or not, of like, you know, albums and merch and stuff. So we're gonna cut it, we might cut it short to like a three part series, but yeah, today, as you guys can see by what's in front of me, I am going to be showing my NCT collection, just NCT in general, obviously, you know, we got 127, we got Dream, we got 2018, we got Wavy over there, we got just, this is just a little taste of what's coming up, so yeah, um, I decided to make another, like, collection video because, um, well, I mean, first of all, I'm bored and have no video ideas, I'm kind of running out here, and also I've been seeing a lot of people doing like collection videos more often because you know we all in quarantine here and we all are bored at our house so yeah i'm just here to hopefully entertain y'all and yeah i haven't made one of these videos in like literally i think nine months so yeah also people have been requesting me to like do more collection videos of different artists because they're also bored at home so yeah, without further ado, let's just get right into it. First up, we are going to be talking about albums. So I'm going to start off with NCT 127, mainly because, you know, they have the most albums out. So yeah, let's just get right into it. Starting with their Korean releases, I have their first mini album, NCT number or hashtag 127. This little cover thing just annoys the F out of me. Like, I don't know why they couldn't just attach it or like do something else with it it's just like why why it's so hard to keep this preserved but yeah it's crazy to think that nct 127 just started out with these seven members but yeah fire truck i didn't like it like when they first debuted um but obviously over time i started to like it there's a point in my life where this was like literally my go-to jam so yeah this is their first mini album and then we move on to possibly their greatest or one of their greatest mini albums of all time. We have Limitless. This, oh my god, seriously one of my favorite albums ever. It's so, so good. The songs are really good, but the packaging is just, what the heck, man? I don't know what SM did <laughs> or like just thought of by putting these, you know, brown paper bags out with these stickers holding it down. As you can see, it clearly it does not work that well. But yeah, um, fun story. Um, I bought these off Amazon and I didn't get to choose my version. So I assumed if I bought three copies, they would give me the three different versions. But as you can see, that didn't happen. And I got two of these ones. So yeah, this packaging is overall a mess. There's like a bunch of stickers, which I am happy about, but like, it's just hella messy, you know? hate the packaging but the album itself is just so good so yeah this remains one of my favorite albums ever and then we move on to cherry bomb which is the comeback where i actually started to get interested in nct more keep in mind they like debuted when i wasn't like super into k-pop like way before i started collecting collecting albums and stuff so i was like oh cherry bomb that's like it's it's a, it's a good song you know i like it um, when they like first released it and this is when I started to pay attention more to NCT 127 and yeah this song is so good though and this packaging and the graphics you know it's just and this thick ass photo book like look at how freaking thick this thing is yo but yeah this is NCT's Cherry Bomb and then we go ahead and jump right into regular or regular. I know like empathy is like supposed to be in here, but I'm putting that like later for like general NCT, not just 127. So that's how we're jumping right into regular or regular. Now, this was actually the first album I bought from NCT. And fun story, this is actually the first album I ever unboxed on my channel. It's my first ever K-pop related video first unboxing so you guys can like scroll back and see my cringy quiet ass i was so shy and i was so nervous to start this channel but yeah i'm really grateful for how far it has come so thank you guys for the support but yeah this is my first ever nct album like out of all nct like just in general 
So yeah, um, I really hated the packaging and I actually got this like super late after their comeback because at first I didn't really like um, regular the song and then I wasn't that into NTT. But then I decided to stand them and I'm glad I did because it has been quite the journey since then. So yeah, again, it's like terrible packaging, but I mean, it gets better later. So yeah. And then we have their um, repackage, their first repackage, Regulate. Yo, this, the physical album is just, oh, I can't even talk about it because it's just horrible. The fact that they freaking, you know, made all the photo books exactly the same, but had the nerves to, they meaning SM, they had the nerves to like make different member versions so that people would buy it, but the photo books are the same. Like literally, I was so annoyed. I was like, what the heck? So yeah, um, I also did an unboxing of this. So yeah, I literally remember like at school when they like announced this and I checked the K-pop store, I was like, oh my God, are you kidding me? They're doing member versions? I was so frustrated, but yeah, I ended up getting four members. So I have Mark, who's my ult, and then my other biases, who are Chaehyun and Johnny. And then I really like to tail this era. I freaking love him in general. So I decided to get his copy. Yeah, we love a good vocal king. So yeah. And then we move on to their only comeback in 2018, which honestly just blows my mind because like, I can't believe they only got one comeback, even though they were like freaking going crazy in 2018. Oh, 2019, I'm sorry. <laughs> Did I say 2018 before? I'm sorry, but yeah, their first, only comeback of 2019, Superhuman. I, this was actually, I think my favorite title track besides Touch actually. So not my favorite title track, I take that back, but one of my favorites super good and they actually only did one version which i was hecka shocked about and the fact that they didn't do repackage for this too i'm surprised so we got a little bit of a dry year from 127 but regardless this was still a bop and then following that i have the kino version i think nct's only group i collect for kinos because the photo cards are so cute I, I know there's like a um, kino for limitless i think and maybe something else but yeah, so this is the Kino. And then lastly, we move on to their latest release. We have Neozone. So you can see I have both versions. Hopefully this is, oh wait, actually this isn't their only comeback this year because they're getting a repackage of this soon, which is super quick. When is it? Like in June, May, June, somewhere around that time. But it's so crazy because I feel like Neozone, like this era hasn't even ended yet. And the fact that they're already having a, another comeback like it's so crazy how fast that was especially for mark like that that man never gets a break but <laughs> yeah you can see these are the n and c versions then we got the t versions right here this was a pain to get but yeah if you guys saw my video of me destroying one of these albums to make my phone case um yeah you, you guys can watch that if you guys are bored <laughs> and don't mind me torturing an album but we got the T versions right here. And then lastly, to go along with that, we have the Kino. <laughs> There's just so many freaking versions of this Neozone album and then the repackage is coming. So like this Neozone era is just hella long, but it was hella stacked. Like there were so many things, so much content that NCT 127 put out. It's crazy. So yeah, I'm like so grateful that they like do all this for us and it's crazy. So yeah. There's the Kino, and I'll show like all my photo cards later, like all together. Obviously, I'm not gonna pull out every single individual photo card, but yeah, this is the Kino. And then we move on to their Japanese releases. So first I have Chain. I have both Johnny and Mark's version. Obviously, I don't like get a lot of copies because Japanese albums are super expensive for what they're worth, but yeah, I have those two. And then we have their latest Japanese release, Awaken. Wakey Wakey wasn't one of my favorite songs from NCT, not gonna lie, but regardless, they still all looked amazing. <laughs> Excluding Johnny's long hair. I'm sorry, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry to be hating on him and calling him out, but yeah, he still, looked, he still looks fine though. So I mean, anyways, <laughs> yeah, this took a really long time for me to get actually, so. Anyways, at least I have it, so 
yeah, very happy about that. And that is actually everything NCT 127, like, album-wise. So next up, we have NCT Dream. It's really sad that they have such a small discography, like, physical discography, and just in general. Like, they literally only get, like, one comeback per year, like, last year <laughs> and the year before that. But, I mean, their comeback is literally, I think, next week. So, yeah, I'm super excited for that. But, yeah, let's just get right into it. So, first off, we have NCT The First. I don't even remember when I got this. I think it was from Amazon. But, yeah, this is such a tiny little album, though. Like, as a physical album, this is just so tiny, but it's so cute. But yeah, and then next up we have We Young right here. Ta da! Also, one version. I think I also got this from Amazon. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I feel like when I there was a time period in my life where I got like a bunch of albums and I like don't even remember it that much because it was such a long time ago. But yeah, this is when I was collecting NCT, and then I got We Young off Amazon, and then we have. We Go Up, which is actually the era where I started to actually stand NCT Dream. I actually knew about NCT Dream and was a fan of NCT Dream's music during their debut, actually. Like, I found out about Chewing Gum. That was literally one of my favorite songs. It was so catchy, and that's when I first heard about NCT Dream. And then I stopped, like, paying attention to them for, like, a bit. And then when I, like, I think it was during this era, We Go Up, and then I saw this, and I was like, oh my god, like, is this the same NCT Dream as I saw before because they just like grew the the frick up like ugh, the fact that they're also grown now it's crazy especially cheese on you know like i don't know but they all hit differently now but yeah and also another fun fact i thought that there were two versions of we go up i saw this and then i saw this backside at the k-pop store and i was like okay i got this version and i need to get this version now <laughs> turns out they're the same album so yeah i'm an idiot for thinking that but yeah that is We Go Up. And then we have, which is sadly their latest comeback, We Boom. It's so crazy, like We Go Up felt like such a long time ago and then suddenly, like, it's only, we're only at the, like, boom. Oh my god, I can't even talk properly, but yeah, it's only at We Boom, like NCT Dream solo-wise. I know, again, there's empathy in between, but I'm counting, I'm like talking about like just NCT Dream. But yeah, you know what? Reload is coming, I'm super excited, but yeah, also one of my faves from them, and I actually got this in New York too, so that's pretty special. And then along with that, we got NCT Dream's Kino for We Boom because, like I said, I collect their Kinos. And then we have their first Japanese release, even though this isn't like, I guess you can call it their NCT, I mean NCT, their Japanese debut, like it's not like you know, them making, like, an original Japanese song. Like, it's just Japanese versions of their current Korean songs. But, yeah. I have these two. I actually did end up ordering, like, the other group version. Like, the one that's in, like, a big box and stuff. It's being hella delayed because, you know, this whole coronavirus situation and stuff coming from Japan post. Oh, my God. It's just stuck in Japan. But, yeah. Hopefully, I will get that soon. But this is what I have for NCT Dream, that's it actually. Next up, we have Wavy. I know there's like this whole debate going on about whether Wavy is like included in NCT or not, but I'm just including them because I think Wavy is a part of NCT. I don't know, don't argue in the comments down below or fight me on that. Just, it is what it is. So yeah, I'm including them because it's my video. <laughs> So yeah, first off, we have Take Over the Moon. I don't have Take Off. I know like it's been a while since they debuted with Take Off, not regular Chinese version. But yeah, um, it's not like a top priority of mine to get. So hopefully one day I will be able to get it. But like I said, right now, it's just not a priority. <laughs> but yeah, honestly, such a gorgeous album. Freaking love it. And then we have their latest release, even though it's not a comeback, it's just their latest like physical release, the sequel. So yeah, that's it for Wavy. <laughs> and then we have NCT in general or 2018, as you might call it. This was such a good era, yo. Oh my God. Like Empathy is like one of my favorite, again, one of my favorite albums of all time. 
such an amazing era. They all served and I, I wish they would do something like this again, like just an album where all of NCT members just come together and do and just create something amazing. But SM is just does us dirty like that and we're never getting something like this again, especially the yearbook. We're never getting another yearbook, so yeah, but regardless, I'm just grateful that this even came out. Like, gosh, empathy is just it's just timeless in my in my opinion. Like, just timeless. I know this isn't technically like NCT, it's super M, but I'm just gonna include it because you know. I'm just only including the NCT members, <laughs> but yeah, I'm just including these right here. I have two of Marks because, you know, one's the English version and one's the Korean version. I mean, press, not version, even though they're like basically exactly the same. It's just different photo cards. <laughs> and then I have Lucas right here. So yeah, I am super sad that I couldn't go to the fan sign. There was literally, I don't know if I talked about this before, but there was a Super M fan sign literally five minutes away from my house at FYE, the store. And it was free and it was so close to my house. I was so sad, but I couldn't get it because they freaking released the information and tickets like the literally the day before and like on Facebook, on Super M Facebook. That's it. They didn't announce it on Instagram or Twitter or anything just on their Facebook page at like 11.45 p.m. on a Tuesday night the day before. Like, what? Like, that's like the worst low-key like timing ever. I got so pissed because I was like, oh, I could have gotten a sing signed album and met Mark and all the other Super M members. But yeah, I will never forgive myself for that. Ugh. I was just so sad that I couldn't go to their free fan sign that was five minutes away from my house. But yeah, that was actually, I think, yeah, that was all of the albums. Now we are going to move on to merch items. This is just going to be ran like grabbed randomly. So yeah, not in any particular order, but let's get into it. So starting off, I have this NCT 127 back to school kit. I know they did this for like every single member of NCT, but I just got marks because like I said, he's my ult. <laughs> If you guys can't tell, Mark is my alt bias. Not even just in NCT, just in general. But yeah, I got his little kit thingy. The only thing that's not in here is his keyring because I put it on my backpack. But yeah, everything else is still in here because um, I'm too scared to use anything. And I would use these notepad things because I thought they were sticky notes and I would so need sticky notes right now. But they're just like notepads. So I don't really need them necessarily. <laughs> I wish they were sticky notes though, but yeah, everything else is still in here. Again, I'm scared to use like wooden pencils because I don't want them to run out. But yeah, everything is still in here. And I got this like super late. Um, I actually made a video about me like unboxing this and just chatting with y'all. I did only put it on my community tab like first, but no one like saw it. So I just put it to the public. But yeah, if you guys want to watch that, if you're bored, you can just, just find it on my channel. <laughs> Next up, we have these vinyls, these picture vinyls. I got Marks and Johnny's, and I don't know, this was just like an impulse buy because they were just, oh my god, superhuman era, they just released so much merch. Like, SM just does that. They just released so much merch from their artists, and I had to cave in and get these vinyls. I actually didn't think that they were actual like playable vinyls. I thought they were just like for decoration and they looked like vinyls. So I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. But they are actually working vinyls. Like I have a record player and I tested it out and it works. So this is like my first K-pop vinyl. I know like vinyl isn't really like a typical format for K-pop or like Korean music. It's more of like American music artists that do vinyls, but it's pretty cool to have a K-pop vinyl for once, you know? even though I rarely use my vinyl record player anymore. These are just a cool collective item, so I got those. Even though these literally took like, I don't know, like I think like six or seven months. So it's crazy how long it takes. Next up, I have this. <laughs> Again, just freaking SM releasing like the most random things ever. We have the tour bus, this mini tour bus that's, that doubles as a Hot Wheel. 
But yeah, I mainly got this because A, the photo cards. I really like the tour bus photo cards. They're so cute. And which I'll show later on who I got. But B, I didn't get any merch from when I went to the NCT tour in North America because most of the most of the stuff was just super expensive. So I was like, it's like a cute little decor item, you know, I guess. So yeah, this is why I got the tour bus. Literally so random. <laughs> And then we have this big bad boy. We have the NCT 127 Summer Vacation Kit. I guess this is another impulse buy, but I think it's mainly because like the stuff in here is pretty cute, like the water bottle and stuff. So that's why I decided to get it, but it's literally humongous. <laughs> it's like bigger than the season's greetings. But I, again, I think I'm pretty sure the reason why the packaging is so big is because the water bottle is like right here, but yeah. That's the summer kit. And then we have NCT Seasons Greeting 2019. I unboxed this again such a long time ago when I first started my channel. I like clearly remember recording that, but yeah. Um, I wish they did this again where like, you know, there was only one NCT Seasons Greetings of like all the members and stuff. But of course they, they like last year for 2020, they did like three different Seasons Greetings. And I decided not to get any for the next year. I only got one season's greetings actually, but I low-key regret it because I kind of wanted to get NCT 127's season's greetings because, oh my god, it was so cute. Like the whole like science, math, measurement, blueprint concept, if you know what I'm talking about. But I think it's kind of too late to, you know, buy a season's greetings right now. So yeah, I barely even use season's greetings either because, you know, everything's like digital now but i still use like the calendars and the goodies and stuff but yeah this is the season's greetings this is one of the last few items this is nct's um 2018 the ticket holder i believe that's what it's called but yeah this was like during their fan party and like all of their fan party goods are just so rare right now especially the freaking the photo cards oh my god I really wanted to get this though because I saw like a bunch of pictures of people having it and like decorating it and like it being so cute. You know, it's like a mini wallet almost. So I'm pretty sure no one uses this as, a, as an actual like ticket holder, like I think concert tickets and stuff. Because I mean, who goes to that many concerts? Let's be real here. But yeah, I sometimes just use this as like a mini wallet if I'm going to like the grocery store or Target or something. I need to carry like cards and pens and whatnot. This is what I have it for. Um, you can see how I like, kind of decorated it. This is like the sunflower thing. I got this at KCON <laughs> a while ago. I put a little sticker there. Um, That's what it looks like. There's a pen. Really cute pen I got from Daiso. And gum. Literally just gum. So this entire thing smells like spearmint now because <laughs> I left gum in here. But yeah, on here, there's like this little voodoo doll keychain thing that I got from an airport. I forgot from where, I think Chicago or something. When I went on my New York Boston trip, it was at one of these um, airport gift shops. So I just bought one because it's really cute. And then on here, there's pins, an NTT pin, it's unofficial. Um, you can see it's kind of scratched up because I literally dropped it. This was on my school backpack last year and then I literally dropped it and I stepped on it. I was so lucky. I literally stepped on it. And then this this pointy part went inside the sole of my shoe. And then I was just walking with it. I was just walking. And then I scratched it up on the concrete, obviously. And I was like, oh my gosh, where's my NCT pin? And I found it on the bottom of my shoe. So I could have lost this pin, but I got so lucky and it got stuck to the bottom of my shoe. But yeah, it's like all scratched up now. And then this Tata pin, it's pretty random, but it looks really cute with the bag. And then here's actually two more merch items on here. These little glitter key rings. I got these through uh, Twitter group order managers. Like they were just selling it. So I just claimed them. You can see one of them is Mark. And then the other one is Chaehyun. But yeah, these are really cute. It's kind of annoying when they turn upside down. Like you have to like kind of turn it right side up. But yeah, this is my ticket holder. Super cute. Finally, we have the mother lord of merch items, their official light stick. You can see I decorated it with like jewels and stuff. I just did it out of boredom for the concert, for the 127 concert, um, like last summer. 
I kind of regret doing it now. I mean, this looks kind of cool, I guess, but I think I might take these jewels out because they're kind of annoying now. And you can see, I, I like tried to make my own decals. They kind of look bad, but yeah. I'm surprised I put Johnny instead of Mark because, like I said, for the third time, Mark is my old, but I think I'd put like Mark for something else. So that's why I was like, okay, I'll just put this for Johnny. So, and I put his little head sticker here. But yeah, that's the light stick. And then I have this mini light stick. This isn't like the mini light stick that they have. This is actually a um, voice key ring from their, I think, 127 uh, concert in Japan. So like, it's marks, obviously, as you can see. It's so cool because like, it matches like this. And then um, if you like, it doesn't light up. I thought it would, but it doesn't. But it's just like, it says like little sayings. <laughs> So, so yeah, it just like says like little sayings in Japanese that Mark recorded. So yeah, I'm scared to like put this on though, like any backpack or something, because I'm scared like the button's gonna click and just just Mark speaking Japanese just plays. <laughs> and everyone's like, what the heck is that? So yeah, it's like a little cute key ring though. So the final like merch item, this isn't like official merch. I remember making a video about this such a long time ago and like a mini random haul video. But if you guys remember, I had these like little NCT fan kits. Fun fact, I never ended up using <laughs> any of these ever again because, you know, it's just like photo cards and like fans and stuff. But yeah. So I have Mark, Chaehyun, Jeno, and Jemin's is supposed to be here somewhere, but I don't know where it is. But yeah, these are just these random fan kits that I bought a really long time ago from a group order. But yeah, that's, oh my god, why is there like so much hair here? I don't even know where this hair is coming from. But yeah, now it's time to move on to photo cards. Hey y'all, sorry to interrupt, but I totally forgot two pieces of merch that I did not include in this video because I forgot, but here we go. So this is another merch item. This is like the only clothing item I have of NCT. It's this Cherry Bomb like 8-bit inspired um, t-shirt that I got a really long time ago. You can see it's like Man of the Members when I was during that era. And then on the back it says Cherry Bomb 127. Sorry the lighting is horrible. I don't have any lights on right now. But yeah, that's one thing. And then the other thing is or are these posters. You can see, I know again this is a Super M, but they're NCT members and I really love them. So yeah, I have Mark's signature and then Lucas. Can't really see it, but there we go. Oh my God, stuff is falling. But yeah, I also did order their um, NCT 127's, the Neo Zone signed albums. I got three members. Again, don't know when those are gonna arrive, but hopefully they do soon. And yeah, this is actually my signed section. If you guys want me to make like a signed stuff video collection, let me know. And I actually just reorganized my NCT shelf. So this is what it looks like right now. It's super messy because like they have like the most random packaging as you guys can see right here. But this is what it looks like. And hopefully it stays this way. So here is my boy group slash miscellaneous binder where my NCT photo cards are in. As you guys can see, <laughs> I decorated the F out of this binder. I got really bored one day, again in quarantine. So I decided to just use a bunch of album stickers and decorate my photo card binders. I actually decorated my other two as well. But I literally just put like the most random boy group related album stickers and stuff. It looks hella messy now that I'm looking at it. But I really do like these like collage things and it's it's just fun to just stick a bunch of stickers on a on a random surface so yeah you can see there's like a bunch of random like artists and stuff but that's not what we're here for so let's go to the ntt portion Ta-da! before we like get into this part though i'm just gonna show these photo cards that i have right now from like my recent album purchases because i'm saving these for a reorganizing video slash storing photo card video yeah, that's what I do. I just save them and then I make a video. So yeah, this is why these aren't in the album yet, but 
This is Teo's circle card. Yuta's Neo Zone photo card. And Toyoung's Neo Zone Kino photo card. And then this is like the wavy, wave voice thingy from the recent release. So you can see I got Henry for the photo card. And then Ten's circle card. Wait, oh, never mind. <laughs> and then I have Kuhn's little postcard thing. So yeah, these will make an appearance later on in my future photo card storing organizing video, which will probably be out like in a couple months because <laughs> let's face it, I rarely make these kinds of videos. So yeah, but now let's just actually get into the photo cards. So starting off, I have my Mark collection. Now I am missing a couple of photo cards. I don't have like every single like Mark photo card in existence. This is just his album photo cards because I don't have the money for that. <laughs> that's not possible but I'm I almost have all of his photo cards I'm still missing his other version for fire truck it's so hard to find for some reason I don't even know why but yeah I still need to get that but other than that I like have almost all of his cards so yeah this is another <laughs> another piece of proof that Mark is my ult so yeah oh yeah I don't have his other super M photo card too I'm pretty sure there's like another version of a Super M card, but I don't have it. And then I haven't traded for Neozone yet, so I don't have his Neozone photo cards as well. And then, oh yeah, I also have his like Super, um, what's it called? Superstar SM card from the tour. Very happy that I got that. And then these are his Super M photo cards. This is his like the trading random card that you get. But yeah. So now we move on to like other members that I just randomly collect. So here I have my Johnny collection. It's pretty small. All my other collections are pretty small because, you know, I mainly collect Mark. Oh my god, these photographs are like falling out. But it's my Johnny collection. I also pulled this like tour bus card. And then this is my mini Chaehyun collection. Also pulled this bus card right here. And then... Just random members. So we have Taeyong, and then this is his bus photo card. We have Toyoung, this Johnny Decon magazine card, Hechan's Awaken, and then Hendry Circle card. And then we move on to the Dreamies. Like I said, this is like <laughs> so not organized, but yeah. So here is Jeno, who's my bias. And then Chemin. These, this photo card is my favorite of Chemin's. It's so cute. So I'm really glad that I have it. And then we have Wavy, even though Hendry was like right here. <laughs> but yeah, so here is my Lucas collection. I don't have any of his like other photo cards except for Super M ones and this like random 2018 one. And then I have 10 photo cards. And then these are just like random photo cards that don't really fit. So these are the Wee Boom cards. And then this unofficial Lenti card I have of Johnny. It was literally like $2, so I was like, might as well get it. <laughs> but yeah, that's unofficial though. So yeah, and then we move on to postcards. So you can see I have the regular irregular postcards. This was like my favorite Johnny era ever. So that's why I had to get this postcard. And then Mark in that tank top hits differently. And then I have Taeyong's postcard. These little like dream reality journal things. So I have Taeyong and Win Win. <coughs> and then these random postcards, I have Mark's and then this like unit one. Oh, what the? Oh, here we go. It's on here. This unit one. And then the, these like random stickers. I don't even know what I was doing at this point, but I guess I just put like my random stickers in these at one point. And then I just put like the little thank you notes as well. But yeah, oh my god, why doesn't this freaking go down? But yeah, I think that finally wraps up this entire video. Wow, that was literally like the longest video in the entire freaking world, but we did it. So yeah, that was my entire NCT collection as of today. 
when I'm filming this video. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. I'll try to do more videos like this if you guys enjoy it. You guys seem to for my Stray Kids and my BTS collection videos, so I might, but like I said, I don't have that many collections to show, so yeah, I'll try my best. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys, stay safe.